The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. So we're going to start out by looking at the German DAX. As you can see here, we had this huge ABCD pattern. Stop exactly where it should have up there at D point, backed off you know, a little bit. Now, this is an hourly chart, but you know, so far it started to work. Now, if it goes above that D point, then it doesn't work. That's basically what these patterns are going to do. So they're going to lead you to the promised land, but you've got to promise that you get out if the land gets a little shaky underneath yourself, like an earthquake, and goes way above that deep point, you don't want to have anything to do with it. So that's what you have to remember. Now, we're going to go over and have, take a little trip today, free tree travel time today here at TFNN. We're going to go over to Italy and talk to our good friend, Mr. Uh, what is Mario Draghi. Just a second, Mario. We'll get you up here and get you on the line here. I think he's waiting on the line. Oh, he's busy right now, but let's get his picture up here so we can see it. And basically what he said over the weekend is we're going to keep this uh, uh, Euro ECB uh, working really good. And so we're going to take whatever it takes to pump money into it. In other words, uh, Helicopter Mario is what he basically uh, was announcement. Well, that got the market moving. And, of course, the Euro has had a really, really strong move that we started on Thursday that we had already talked about. But I wanted to share with you one of the really neat charts sent to us by J.C. Parrots of All-Star Charts, and it shows the relationship. And we, we talk about that on the show here a great deal, but this chart really depicts the, the relationship between the U.S. dollar uh, and the, uh, the S&P 500. You can see the dollar index, you know, when it topped up there, and that's when the S&P bottomed. I mean, look at this, folks. And we talk about follow the money. This is really, really an interesting one to look at. Now, the bottom in the S&P... Uh, that we had on Thursday was, was not that hard to understand. I don't believe we were we were watching it uh, quite a bit here uh, on the program. And uh, we'll just get this up here to remind ourselves what we're looking at because we've got a very, very positive pattern here in this uh, stock indices right now. That doesn't mean it can't go down and take out new lows or even retrace all of it. It doesn't make any difference. It just means that this major pattern that we had here, this was the big ABCD to the downside. You can see the three drive to a bottom pattern. Then we had this absolutely gorgeous, uh, beautiful Gartley on Thursday, and then the explosive move. And then uh, Sunday night, the market actually gapped up above that number, and I haven't filled that gap yet. I don't believe. I I'm, haven't been live for 10 to 15 minutes, but uh, 83, uh, 79, I believe, is where it has to pull back to in order to fill that gap because we did leave a gap there. And, boy, gaps in the S&P – even in the S&P futures are, are quite rare. So uh, that is a really strong pattern. Uh, we, we mentioned the fact that, you know, if Apple got above that 149 level, that it was going to take off, and it certainly did. And that was one of the triggers why the stock market has become very, very strong here these last few days. How long will it last? No one knows, but that's the good part. Nobody ever knows what's going to happen next, including me. But if you'll notice here, we do have a perfect ABCD pattern forming here in this S&P, which take us up probably at 4060. Ideally, that would come in in a few days. Might take longer, might be a little less, but we want to watch 4060 in that E-mini S&P because that's going to be a really important ABCD pattern uh, on the upside. We've seen one on the downside. Now we want to see if we can see one on the upside. Still a little early. We really don't know. I want to share with you a couple of things. You know, uh, Tom Hugard is my, my good friend, and I chat with him all the time. But I sent Tom some charts here uh, over, the, uh, over the weekend just to show the fact of, you know, how some of these things are operating nowadays as far as technical analysis. We're going to start here with the euro going into where we were here on Friday the 15th. We'll get this up here so you can see it. You'll see we had this big bottom that happened down here. This bottom we'll discuss in just a moment, but you can see we had the rally up, 
went exactly to the 382. Folks, we've gone above 1.19. We're almost at 1.02 now, up 300 handles from the uh, bottom that we had. Oh, what is this? Uh, this is the bad part about these darn things is uh, the fact that uh, I cannot uh, keep uh, – that's the landline, folks. I'm sorry. I, I don't even want to go over and try to reach it, so it's, it's, not, it's not that important. So let's move on here. I want to talk to you about this euro because I think this is where we really had a uh, interesting thing happen. Hold on one second here. This is uh, – Ay, 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 ay. Just give me a second here. Get this weekly chart up here. There's what I want to show you. We talked about this last week. We're going to talk about it. This is major, major, major number here, folks. Right on the old uh, point. Beautiful. Look at that. Seven weeks down in the A leg, seven weeks down in the CD leg, and uh, a perfect ABCD, and we're already up to 102. This tells us that we're in a really strong rally that should take this. Uh, all the way up to the 106 to 107 level. If it if it does what it did, the last time we had a three-week rally, we rallied that much. So if you add that to that, that's going to take you up to about 107. So remind ourselves that uh, that's what we're <clears throat> that's what we're paying attention to here this morning in the euro. But the good part of it is you can see the 382s that I sent you on these uh, patterns because they they're just in in strong trending markets, folks. It's something that you really ought to pay very, very close attention to. Now, look at the look at the. I'm just going to show you the opposite side of this because here is the euro that we were following all the way down, folks. Uh, we were doing all of these. You can see here this 382s all the way down to the bottom that we got down in here. That was all 382 actions we were looking at, and it worked. They all worked fine. I mean, they don't always work fine, but. When they do work, you know, you got something that'll really, you know, really hold your hands on. Now, here's the one Friday, and we, we did this one. I want to get it up here to show, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Just a minute here. Got to got to get back up here. Oh, that's not good. Just a second. Don't ever let an Italian in front of a computer that doesn't know technical stuff because I have a rough time. Okay, now here is the Dow Jones E-mini on Friday, you can see we had this big move down. There was your three drive to a bottom pattern, just like we were seeing in the S&P. We rallied really strongly. Friday, we come down in the middle of the night, right to the exact 382, and then we make another 382 as the report came out, and then we're off to the races, and we went above the uh, 31,500 level uh, on this so far, and we probably still got a little ways to go but we're trying to fill that gap i believe uh this morning which will be very very important no matter what happens with these folks we are going to see volatility it's going to go off the charts and that's where these patterns will really help you and i hope i can get this telegram channel set up i'm hoping to have it done the end of this week or early next week and then we're going to get this stuff out to you instantaneously and we'll be able to see some of these things that we're looking at at various times of the night. If you want to see a 382 pattern, folks, that uh, really wants to knock your socks off, let me get this up here and uh, get it to your level right here. This happens to be the last couple of days in crude oil. So if you don't believe in 382, after this one, folks, there's no hope. We're now trading at 102 and change on this one, folks. Three of them in a row. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. We'll be right back. 877-927. Six four eight. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Oh my gosh, boys and girls, I have some really great news. A miracle has just happened here at TFNN. Buckle your seatbelts, hold on. Someone has got through on the telephone line, and it's none other than Mr. Z from Philly. John, how are you doing? You are setting the bar way too high. I'll never jump over that one. <laughs> You could slip over it. It's not a problem. I, I do the holy gully <laughs> under it, so no big deal. What can I help you with, buddy? Say, uh, sir, please bring up the uh, bond futures four-hour chart. Uh, I don't know if I, I have. What I'd like I, to I, ask you about is sure. we had this rally uh, starting back June 16th or thereabouts, 131 low, got up mm -hmm. to 142. Now we're kind of right back in the middle of that range. My question is... Does any of your chart work, the patterns patterns that you see, uh, suggest to you it's likely the next move in bonds is up over 142 or back to test 131? I, I frankly, I, I don't have any idea. was hoping you might shed some light on that question. Well, I have a swag for you, okay? And we all know what that means. That's a sophisticated, wild A guess. And that's all I'm going to do is show you the pattern that I'm looking at. We had that 382 magical rally up there to 142.06. That was it. We're now trading at 138. And uh, we hit 141 last night. We're down three handles from where we were in the middle of the night last night. Uh, I posted a video saying, gee, I ought to take a look at that 786 up there at 141.10. It seemed to work the high was uh, 141 14 but I think we're headed lower I, I think that what they're doing now is they're jawboning with you know Mr. Draghi coming out saying we're going to print bonds until the cows come home and well maybe they will but uh, they're going to have to print them at higher interest rates because I don't think people are going to fall for the you know the uh, rise the falling interest rate uh, scenario that these notes and bonds have had in this rally that's my opinion 131 it is. Very good, Larry. I, uh, I appreciate that. I um, uh, wanted to also ask you, um, 
I wonder, I know you don't have him on any longer, and he's a very busy man these days, but Cy Monley is yes. intimately and heavily involved with customers hedging, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hedging in the ag markets. And I'm sure uh, he's uh, hedging for farmers, and he's probably hedging for, uh, for the, uh, the livestock producers who buy the stuff. But um, uh, does, uh, in your conversations with him, any, uh, any guesses as to how important the lows in corn and soybeans were last week? Yes, he has, he has over 350 farms that he manages through a Farm Bureau. That's where he, who he, he operates their operations there. His uh, Farm Bureau brought him out uh, t- two years ago. Basically, what he's looking at here is the farmer's costs have gone up, but the price of the farmland has gone much higher than the cost of you know, raising some corn or anything like that. Nitrogen is up three times what it was a couple of years ago, but the farmers are still doing okay. Look... John, we got corn at six dollars, not at three forty. You know, so this is a, we have to have a bumper crop this year, or there's going to be many millions of people will die in countries that you know get our grain. They won't be getting as much, and a lot of people will probably starve. That's what he's looking at. But we need bumper crops, and he thinks those lows that we made last week. Uh, when well, actually corn didn't even go below seven dollars on spot corn, so that's uh, that's what he's looking at. He's looking at much much higher prices, and I have to agree. If we don't have a bumper crop, uh, something's wrong. And I, I, are you following the the weather in Europe, John? It's, it's a hundred degrees in London today. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. There's there's a yeah. uh, uh, lots of adverse weather, as I call it, uh, yeah. all over the place. Uh, and it's not just Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, London, yeah. Paris, and Frankfurt this week too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all over. So we really need bumper crops. And uh, frankly, you know, given the scenario of all the economics in the world, we're probably not going to get a bumper crop because I believe we might be looking to dust bowl type environment that we had in the the 30s and you know the late 30s and early 40s but you know may, might not be as bad but we have to have a bumper crop or these people are going to be there's a lot of people we're lucky here because we got plenty of everything water food you know other countries don't have that so it's uh it's going to be interesting and then that what's you know if they if they don't get the food that leads to war so <laughs> not a good scenario for sure yeah i'll just yeah. i'll just observe uh uh in the new crop corn and the new crop soybean futures and uh, in all the wheat futures, um, uh, the big declines that occurred from those May highs into the lows last week, mm-hmm. uh, you don't get those big percentage uh, price changes to the downside unless you have speculators who were heavily long who are dumping their longs mm-hmm. and possibly even going short. Uh, the uh, where we stand today as a result of that action the past several weeks into last week's lows is that the speculator crowd had uh, exited a very good, uh, a large percentage of their long position. And if this adverse weather that's occurring this week, if this extends mm-hmm. for more than a week, and of course, I'm no weatherman, so I, I, I don't care to guess on that. But if it extends past this week, that same crowd who dumped uh, stands a good chance of saying, oops, I was wrong, i got to buy again and buying at a higher price. So mm-hmm. uh, I will not be shocked if there's a continuation of adverse weather leading to you know, 10, 20, 30% price gains in these things again. So yeah, that's my, that's my guess. I, I posted the chart of the 50 cent rally that we've had in wheat today. You know, we had a big bottom on Friday. The market rallied up overnight, pulled right back to a 382 retracement and then continued the ABCD up there at uh, 839 a bushel. So, you know, John, three weeks, or was it? Uh, two months ago, we were trading at $14 a bushel in corn. It gets down to $8, nobody wants it, you know. <laughs> right, they right. finally that's, get it on that, sale and nobody wants to buy uh, it. liquidation that I was speaking of exactly. Yes, now. it sure was, yeah. Well, the sun, well and the, you so know, much, some, I got to hop. Hey, I'll let you go. Mr. Z from Very Philly good. always has some great information. Thanks a lot, John. Uh, speaking you. of... 
speaking of the commodities now, you know, we actually have really good prices in the markets, folks, for for uh, cattle and hogs. I mean, they haven't re really moved very much at all. They've been in a very, very tight rate, tight trading range for a very, very long time. So that's the good part about this. Second thing is, is we've got gasoline now down to 439 a gallon here in Tucson. But, you know, maybe it's going to go higher. Maybe it's going to go lower. But at least it's didn't stay at five dollars for more than one day so that's mainly it I try to watch ABCDs folks that's what I look at now I'm going to show you one more ABCD before we get to the break it's the ABCD that we had here in the gold last night and we'll get up here and talk about gold when we come back uh, for our next segment in here now remember I'll be doing Basil's show Thursday and Friday so I'll be two hours on Thursday and two hours on Friday um, planning something special. 877 927 6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted another chart from uh, J.C. Parrott's All-Star Charts, and that's showing you the up, down, up, down volume in the stock market the other day when we had that monster bottom and then boom the explosion to the upside that was nine to one folks you can see that was nearly historical so that's very very important but the next one i want to show you goes back a lot longer time frame and it's a little bit larger cycle and that tells you maybe we could get a little bit large larger rally than we might think this goes back uh, over a hundred years i just want to get this up here to to show you uh, how many times the market has done what it just did You'll notice here, we haven't had this happen. This is a number 34 weeks down uh, without a major, well, you know, small corrections. But look at this. The last time that hurt, 
happened was back in March of 08, and we all know what that that was. I mean, we were looking at the S&P at about 664, and the Dow Jones, uh, I forget what it was. It was really small, 1600. Uh-oh, it says the chart's not coming through. Just one second here. Let's get it up here, see if we can get it again. And here we go. I probably didn't miss one button. And we'll see if this is working. Eh, take it off pause. Okay, I'll do what I can here to see what's going on here. And then we'll go from there. I think they're coming through uh, okay today, so we'll see what's going on. Now, I want to just take a, uh, take a trip. We already went over across the pond uh, over to Italy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, Hong Kong. And I want to just show you where we are here. Here is the... Hong Kong market. I want to get this up here. We have many, many friends over there, and uh, the family's sort of dispersed because uh, Sarah's son Jackie has moved to the UK. He's made that their home, so they're going to be living there. They bought a beautiful place on Canary Wharf, and he's a big time attorney at one of the big partners there in London. You can see here we made this 382 retracement here. This is the long term weekly, folks. Remember, we had this major support right here at the bottom. There was the big ABCD going back uh, about three and a half years ago. So that's a major one. Now we're pulling back down again. And what we have possibly here is the one, three, five pattern forming. We have possible three higher lows. The only thing that's really negative about this is this big, big down week that we had in Hong Kong this past week. Very very important. So when that usually happens, the one thing that I'll try to do is go down to a daily chart. I made a video about this, of course. I want to get this up here so we can see it. And we'll get this up here and see it a lot easier. I've blown it up so that it's uh, discernible to what we're watching. But you'll notice there was the 135 pattern on the downside. You can see here's the 61% retracement. That's also the 382 on the long term weekly. Then we have the three lower highs, one, three, and five. We've come down now. We're setting a major support almost exactly at the 78% level. Now, this is a daily. That means that these bars right here, when you put it in on a weekly, is really, really down bars. So it wasn't one day that made that. It took five days to make it, but that's still very, very important. My assumption is here in the market we're, we're, we're going to be chopping around with a little upside bias here. Uh, for the next few days, and then we'll see, you know, what happens, uh, you know, to these markets as we come into the uh, end of July and the dog days of summer, as they say. Okay, now I wanted to move on and cover the gold market, so bear with me here one second. This is an interesting one, folks, because I, I looked at something that really was very, very interesting, and that's where I thought we would have a little bit of a rally on gold today. It hasn't rallied much we're still uh, slightly up, basically nothing. But as I look at this gold market, and I spent a great deal of time on silver, gold, platinum, all of them. But you'll notice this level right here, this double bottom. Now, the other bottom back here was 1679. We've only got to 1692. But that's the 382, folks. You see how it held the 382 the first time? Maybe it's going to hold the 382 this time. The negative to this is that we didn't rally very much, folks. We rallied up to that ABCD that I posted a little while ago at 16 or 1725. That was a perfect ABCD. Now, if this thing was really good, it would have taken out that 1725 like it didn't even exist. And what did it do? It drops $20 an ounce. So that tells you my premise here is probably wrong. That we're heading down here to 1600 to 1595. There's the 382. We've been bearish since that time. That was 18, uh, 1880 in the uh, in the in the gold, and here we are at a uh, little right above 1700 right now. So, I try to follow the patterns, folks. And honest to God, I people ask me this question all the time: How do I stay away from listening to that stuff? A, I put the the Bloomberg or CNBC always on mute. I just want to look at the headlines. I want to see how the market responds to that stuff. I've been around for so doggone long that I don't – I've seen the games. Look at wheat. Perfect example in wheat. You know, we're up at $14 two months ago, folks. I mean, the world is coming to an end. There's no more wheat. Putin's going to burn the wheat that's in the Crimea. All that stuff was in the news at 14 bucks. Where is it at now? $8. Hello? 
that's twenty thousand bucks, folks. That somebody you know took it into shorts, man. That's not. <laughs> that's when you follow those fundamentals. You got to be really, really careful. Very, very careful to do that. The second thing people ask me about a lot is the astrology. And folks, when I first wrote that book, uh, Astro Cycles: The Trader's Viewpoint, I really thought that I knew a lot about astrology. But the more that I, the more I got in it, the less I really knew. And the people I started hanging around with are getting information. You know, we had uh, we have Bill Meridian, Norm Winsky, Alfie Lavoie, Tim Bost. Uh, oh, my guess I'm probably going to forget. Arch Crawford. All these guys knew so much more than I did. I know one thing, folks. I know how to I know how to put orders in and buy and sell using simple little patterns. ABC, 382s, 135s. I can do that all day long. Boring as hell. But by golly, you know what? It pays the bills, and that's what's important. Now, I'm going to move into the astrology just a little bit because I, I use very, very simple things. One of the greatest traders that I ever met, knew personally, I didn't know Amos Hostetter personally. I knew him, but I didn't know him personally. I did know Frank Tauscher, and Frank Tauscher did the Super Traders Almanac, hands down the best trader I ever met. He would put a hundred grand into those things. Everybody got a hundred grand funny money. He put a hundred grand of his own money up, and he made never made. Listen to me, folks. He never made less than four times the amount of money that the second place finisher got. So that's that shows you how good he was. He used a tiny bit of astrology, not much. Simple, you know, the daily, uh, you know, full moons and new moons. I'm going to put this chart up now. This isn't from. This isn't from Frank Tauscher, it's from somebody else, but it shows the lunar cycles that are related to the gold. That's all it is. You just do some simple time counts, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to, to worry about the moons in the seventh house and Jupiter's aligned with Mars. You know, do some simple time counts, look at the ratios, look at the patterns, and then let the market decide whether it's the bottom or not. That's that's really all your that's all you can do, and that's what you should do, you know? I I spoke to Paula Douglas over the weekend, and uh, uh, we were reminiscing about uh, when I first met Mark, which was back in 83. Uh, I went to Las Vegas for a CompuTrack seminar. He was speaking, and I was speaking, and I wanted to hear him. And uh, he said to me, he said, I've told this story before, but it's worth repeating. He said, don't listen to me. He said, go in to that uh, seminar in here on spousal abuse with uh, John What's his name? John Bradford? I think it was John John Bradford, I think is what it was. Might, hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. FNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I was uh, telling a story about when I met Mark Douglas the first time uh, in Las Vegas at the CompuTrack seminar, and Mark said, uh, I don't want you to go to this one. He said, uh, I want you to go to this one, and that was John Bradford. And it was I didn't have any idea who John Bradford was. He's a psychologist that specializes in spousal abuse. Uh, and uh, so I, what am I doing in here? So I go in, and the first thing I see, is there's about 300 women in there, and there's only about three guys. And I said, ooh, I can deal with these odds. So I said, i got to pay attention to this. And, oh, my gosh, there's not, they're passing tissue paper around. I'm hearing the most horrifying, God, blood-curdling stories I've ever heard in my life. And after and when noontime came, I, I, I introduced myself to Mr. Bradford, and I said, you know, keep the 150 bucks. I can't take any more. And he said, yeah, I understand. So I go to tell Mark. I said, Mark, I said, you owe me 100. I didn't know Mark. I just, we just met him. He said, you owe me 150 bucks. He said, that's going to be a good 150 bucks for you. And I said, why? He said, do you see how lucky you really are, Larry? And I said, oh, my God. And I, you know, <laughs> a couple of years later, I was going through a divorce, but nothing like what I saw there. I mean, I couldn't believe how human beings could actually hurt themselves, you know, the way these people uh, actually did. So it, it's 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 really a, a bit scary if you want to know the truth. Now, since you went through all of that, I'm going to share with you something here just really quickly. Now, maybe this doesn't work because, you know, sometimes they don't work. But I want to share you this one that we're looking at right now. Because we always talk about 382 and how we do it. So we're going to get up here and we've got one going right now. You've got a real strong trending market. And there's your 382 right now, setting right there. See the big ABCD, the three drive to a top pattern. And there's the 382. You only have to risk about, you know, 150 bucks there. Stop's got to go right below here. Okay, but this is where the 382 should work. How many times has it worked? It's been three in a row, folks. It's been nothing but you know green gravy or green grass and uh, brown gravy on this 382 for the euro all day long. I mean, it's just been uh, ever. Let's just put it up here. I'll do the hourly chart so you can see it. Now remember that we're trade when you see this when we were trading at 104 when I posted the last one, okay, and it went all the way up to 102. The high up here was 102, completing the big ABCDs up there. So now we're seeing a 3A2 coming down. Whether it works or not, I don't know. Now, the way I would handle this is I wouldn't risk more than 12 pips, 100, say 150 bucks. It's either going to work or it doesn't. So that's, uh, that's what I would be doing. I'm not doing it because I'm on the air and I can't get the orders in fast enough or, you know, to move the chair over to the other computer to get it done. Uh, and I'm, I'm satisfied with what, what's happened so far today, which is good. But I'd like to uh, pay attention to that one because it's going to be a real interesting one to see if it's going to uh, work or not. And uh, I'm going to put the beeper alert on because we've only got another 10 minutes in the show. I'm hoping to have Tim Bost as my guest uh, tomorrow and also uh, I'm trying to get uh, uh, 
Bill, oh, oh, what's Bill's last name? Oh, I'll think of it in just a second. <laughs> uh, John, John, uh, oh, Larry, what's happening? To, I got my notes over here and I can't even reach him. Not to worry about it. Anyway, watch this euro. It's at uh, 101.57, trading 101.59. Anything below 101.40 would probably be, well, 101.50, in my opinion, would mean that it's not working. I just take the $100 out. And uh, not let it. Uh, John Pinnell would be the guest on uh, Thursday. He's an oil trader down in uh, Houston that would uh, possibly talk to us about what the crude oil is going on. And um, all right, those are the main ones that we're looking at. Took, taking care of the the Hong Kong market, the gold. Oh, here's one that's really interesting right here, folks. In the news all the time, we got weather of 100 degrees over there in Europe, especially in London and stuff like that. And you'll look here. Here we've got natural gas. Pay attention to the news, folks, for one news item that may or may not come out. You don't even have to know what it says. Just read the headlines. If uh, the Nordstrom Stream 2 is going to be taken offline, that's going to cause a depression in Germany, folks, because they are in big trouble with natural gas. And if they shut that off, there's not enough to replace it uh, anywhere. But you can see the beautiful little Gartley we had here in the natural gas this morning. That's a $4,000 move, folks, with basically no heat. There's your ABCD right there. Gardley pattern on the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. All the way up. If you looked at it real closely, you'd see the first 382 retracement. And uh, that's been a really big move here going on uh, in the natural gas. Remember the old high was at 9? I probably would guess if this thing is shut down, that might go to 15 or 18. It's not easy to move that much natural gas, but they're going to have to move it somewhere because these people are going to be hurting. Um, the electric or the heating bills for my friends over in the UK that usually ran 130 pounds uh, a month are now up to 480 pounds a month and rising. They think they're going to double again to 800 pounds a month. How does someone on a limited income going to pay themselves, uh, heat themselves? Or they're going to have to choose either. You're either going to eat and die or, or freeze to death. I mean, how are they going to do that? So it's going to get really nasty over there if this weather keeps up uh, the way people are talking. Because once this hot summer's over, you know what? That's usually followed by a brutal winter. I can remember uh, 10 years ago, we were over in uh, London giving a seminar in February, and they had a blizzard beyond blizzards. It was so bad, people came into the hotel we were staying at, which was a very nice hotel. Uh, Motel 4, I believe. Anyway, they would come in and they had, to, they had to sleep on the floor because they would have died. That's how bad it was. Very, very cold, blistering winds, blizzards everywhere, f five or six inches of snow. And five or six inches of snow in London, folks, <laughs> that's like two feet in Indiana. So it's, uh, it was really, really nasty. We still have pictures of the people sleeping in the lobby, 40 or 50 of them there to take a look at it. So we have lovely weather here today. We're only going to be about... 90 degrees, a little bit of rain coming in a little bit later, so monsoons keep it uh, pretty good. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. So um, keep your cards and letters coming in, and we'll see if this thing works out here. You've already made five pips in your uh, Euro trade, folks. That's enough for lunch. Anyway, let's move on here, and we'll talk a little bit about the bondolis. We're going to talk about the bonds. Uh, Mr. Z was up here an hour or so talking to us, and I wanted to uh, uh, review where we were with the bond order, and then you'll see where we where we stand right now in the bond market by looking at a hourly chart. It's I think it's easy to see you know what we're what we're paying attention to here. So bear with me here one second, and we'll be right back. Oh, we got we still got a little dead time. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that I. Uh, that I possibly can for you. So, ah, uh, well, I've still got a little bit more time in here. I'm not ready for the bond chart yet. It's going to take me a little more time to get it done, but we'll get it up here and make sure that it's working okay. Hold on a second. I want to move this out of the way. Uh, I did mention that hopefully tomorrow, well, Tim Boss is supposed to be my guest tomorrow, and uh, we'll be able to have, oh, JC Parrots, I believe will be Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, as our guest. And then Friday, I'm going to be doing double session with uh, Basil's show at uh, uh, that. The Basil shows at 11 o'clock, uh, no, 10 o'clock. And I'm going to do 10 till 12. 
two hours on Thursday and Friday. I'm talking a lot about commodities and foreign exchange. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here of the Treasury bonds up there at the 382 at the 146 level. We chatted about that with Mr. Z at the beginning of the show. Uh, then the market came down, and then you notice that for the last five days, it's been going sideways. And I sent a video out last night and said it looks like it's not going to get above the 78% level. So selling it at that 141.10 level at the 786 looks pretty good, not risking more than about 10 to 15 pips. And uh, sure enough, it went to 141.14 and it's broken three handles uh, quite a bit, which is $3,000 in Treasury bonds. That means we're breaking down below that that 135 pattern. Uh, so that's telling you that that's going to be uh, pretty positive for the downside of bonds. In other words, positive for bonds going lower is what it looks like. Now, anything could happen, of course, and it usually does. But if it pops above that, then you want to be able to... Uh, you know, to take advantage of it on the downside because this is a major 3A2 in a major bear market. We've seen it on the weekly that I posted earlier when we had Mr. Z on the line at that 146 level. And you know, they can change the narrative, whatever they want to, on some of these things, but you can't hide from the prices, folks. Once prices start down, uh, that's telling you that there's trouble in River City and uh, they are going to go lower. So, 
remind ourselves of that fact because it's, uh, it's extremely, extremely uh, valuable. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. On. And okay, regarding that, uh, the thing that I posted uh, in the euro, uh, you know, don't risk. Uh, if it gets five pips lower than, let's see, the low was uh, 101.579. And uh, so it's trading a little bit above that right now. If it gets to, you know, risk to 100 bucks, you know, 100 bucks is not going to change your style of living. And if it works, uh, you'll make a little bit more than uh, 100 bucks. So it should hold that level. If it doesn't, it's no big deal. It's just going to go down to the next place to look at it. But the whole thing is about risk control, folks. Second thing is live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And thank goodness you're not in the structure that people like John Bradford have to help you with. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. And may God bless. <laughs>